The RV Show USA is brought to you by Flagstaff, building better RVs, making smarter RVers. All right, the RV Show USA is brought to you by PPL Motorhomes, the largest consignment RV dealer in the nation. Alan Warren, the RV wingman, back with you. And on our guest line is a lady that's been on the move of late, actually for the last couple of weeks, traveling to RV shows and meeting folks all over the great state of Texas, spreading joy every place she goes, but she doesn't stay anywhere very long, and uh, at least not this time of year. It's RV Nana from PPL Motorhomes, Diana LeBlanc-Link. Hiya, Diana. Hey there. How are you? It's been a crazy, busy couple of weeks. Happy New Year. Well, well, same to you. Are, are you tired? I mean, you've been going nonstop. Uh, I don't admit that when I am in most cases, but people <laughs> who know me know that I go 150 miles an hour, and when I hit the wall, that's it. And yeah. I haven't hit the wall yet. That's a good thing. But this <laughs> time of year is always super busy, isn't it? It is. And, you know, the hardest thing for me, being in Texas and our weather changes, you know, I mean, mm. it can be 80 degrees in the middle of the day and 30 at night in no time at all. My my allergies or my sinuses are still in the last city I was in. They don't <laughs> catch up with me, I don't think. <laughs> well, you know, the good news is is that, that almost wherever you're listening to this show from, spring break is only about eight weeks away. At least it is here in Texas. So, And we've had a pretty mild winter so far. And so, um, you know, springtime's right around the corner. New allergies, Diana. Oh, my gosh. How exciting. <laughs> you know, I've been back and forth all over Texas. And the other day it was snowing when we got to Grapevine on Saturday. And then it was 70-something degrees yesterday up there. So there's just no way to know what it's going to be. But it's all good because it's all RV camping weather. That's I was going to ask you, so so you have been to a lot of shows. Uh, you sent us some pictures earlier. We've got, it looks like you went to a, some distributor show. Uh, tell us, what's, what are you seeing? I mean, you're out there uh, mingling amongst the folks. Tell us about this distributor show first, if you would. What did well, you see? I, and I, I kicked off the year at a retail show in, in Fort Worth, and that was awesome it was the rv show up there it was great and then this past few days i've been at one of our biggest distributor shows and it's so neat to see the new products that are coming out that you will all see we'll have them at ppl i'm sure and just to talk to the people and hear the experiences and what the customers have told them because these manufacturers of the parts and all the distributors they're listening to you guys and they want to hear what what you like and don't like because they want you to be happy campers. Now, the pictures that we saw, uh, this looked like a big show. I mean, l uh, fancy, nice, lots of people. Is it Was it a regional show, a national show? Were there as many people as the pictures made it seem? It's a national show, and they have probably about 2,500 uh, dealers and uh, that are there, dealers and parts uh, representative, you know, as far as people who own parts stores. And it's it's really neat. It's, it's a lot how, of fun. How important are these uh the distributor shows, the retailer shows, for somebody like you at PPL and for the eventual consumer that's going to buy their products? Well, I kind of compare them to like the RV show or you go to a boat show or you go to an auto show. You can't always see and understand these products that are new to the market without being able to touch them. And there's something about being able to see it in person and touch it because then I can try to relate that to you guys better and tell you how great the products are and what I think the good, the bad, and the ugly is. I, I saw some familiar faces. You were, you were uh, uh, on each side of you. You had the fire disc cooker guys with you, the, the brothers that have invented, created, and are selling a gob of those beautiful fire disc cookers. Oh, my gosh, Griff and Hunter were both there, and uh, one of their new reps, Scott, was there. It was so neat. They set up, and they weren't cooking. Now, this is the first time I've ever been to a show with them that they weren't cooking, but yeah. I think that was something about the hotel wouldn't let them do that. You yeah, know, so. yeah. Those are, but, but they're so such a versatile product, those those little fire disc cookers. And I see the last 100 years, and it seems like everybody's buying them. So um, what about the, the, what's the white picket fence picture all about? Okay, this is a, a new product that's out there, and I know so many RVers love their four-legged friends. They, their four-legged four companions, everything is about them. Well, this little picket fence is sturdy, it's lightweight, 
and it can add good outdoor square footage. You can let your little friend out. They even, they've even taken a place where they make sure that they can't get out around the steps. That's always been a problem. I know we've done that before. You put a, a little fenced area, but they, they figure, no matter how big the dog is, they figure out how to get out of the little bitty area mm-hmm, there. Mm-hmm. These so, so are, the, are so these modular? Are these going to these little picket fences? Are they going to be modular? Or is it just one piece? Or no, they're modular. You can make them for small areas. You can expand it to a large area. They are really neat. We will have them on display at our Houston store, uh, probably about February for our Tuesday tips on February fourth. Mm-hmm. But we'll have them there. I think everybody's going to be real excited to see them. Uh, the fact that you can let that little four-legged friend out at 2 a.m. and not have to worry about standing out there in your Mm -hmm. your pajamas waiting or going for a walk. It's kind of neat, and they can come right back in. But they aren't on the leash. It's really, really convenient. Well, I'll tell you, as a campground owner myself, I love the thought of these the the little fenced yards, where modular, where you could set it up. I see too many people leaving their dog, and I, I'm a dog lover. Nobody loves dogs more than I do. But when they leave their dog tethered on a short leash to a tree, it's, to me it's just not as humane as giving them their own space, even if it's not a very big space. At least they're, they're not tethered when they're in a yard like that. It's safe. It's secure. Like you said, lightweight, modular. That, what is it called? I forgot to even ask you that. Oh, my gosh. I, I should know that, and I do know that, but I don't know it right this second. Hey, as soon as we it, hang up, you'll remember. I know. Okay? It's, it's stay pet, I think is what it is, but I'm sorry, and I, I really should. I, hey, guys, this is what happens when RV Nana gets home late in the evening. <laughs> so, hey, so, since, um, since New Year's, honestly, since New Year's, how many days have you had off? We're already over the halfway mark in January. How many days have, has RV Nana had off? I don't think I should admit that, but it's only been one. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me, young lady. I mean, you are you are going, going. Oh, okay, so I received okay, wait, a flyer. I found the name. Alan, I found the name. It's a picket play. Picket play. Picket play. Okay. It's called okay. Rome Sweet Rome. That's I, good. I know some guy up at Big Chief RV Resort that's probably going to want to have one of those things up at uh, up at his place. It would be me. Anyway, I, hey, know that. I received a flyer in the mail from PPL this week. Tell me about that because there's a part of that. I'm going to go to it on my computer. I saved a picture of it. Um, it's not a sale flyer. It's just a, like an advertising flyer, right? Right, it is. Basically, that that talks about our consignment sales program. We have an amazing RV consignment sales program. And we've been doing it since 1972. But this tells you that we need more RVs to sell. We've got buyers, and we need people to bring them in. And if you'll bring yours to us, we'll give you a free $545 ultimate detail that, for your vehicle. You know, I was going to ask you about that. I'm looking. I mean, have you got Jumpin' John? You got it on the screen? I got it on the screen. The it's coupon? That You must be... Um, needing inventory badly with a lot of buyers out there to be giving away a $545 detail, Diane. I mean, we do, we, we do need inventory because sales have been good. You know, this weather has brought the RVers out. People have spring fever, RV fever is what uh-huh. I call it, and we want to make sure that we have the greatest selection. We have over 720, but we always want more. You know, that's it. the more we have to sell, the more... Happy campers we're going to have. I just love it. I, I I love the fact that even when you're running a million miles an hour, you're still so up and so happy, and you bring us joy here on the show with knowledge and, of products and things. So, anyway, uh, where are you off to next, Diana? I'm actually home uh, for about five days, I think, six days. Um, we will be at a show here in the Houston area. Uh, well, of course, we'll do the Houston RV show, but we're also doing one out in Sugarland uh, next week. And it's the Sugarland, actually, it's a home and outdoor show. And we'll have all sorts of fun things there. So we just have a good time wherever we go. Well, there we go. we got to let you go, but great stuff. We'll talk to you soon, all right? All right, come see us. All right. Bye. RV Nana, everybody, for more information on RV products and accessories and or if you'd like to sell your RV or buy a good used RV, check them out, pplmotorhomes.com, pplmotorhomes.com. I'm Alan Warren, the RV Wingman, back after this. <laughs> 